Fucking Bruce Lee. Your body mechanics are not exactly going to act the same way. And since they like quoting Bruce Lee, here's a quote. Be like water, my friend. When water goes into a cup, it becomes the cup. When it becomes... Whatever the hell. You, you know, you get the quote. When it becomes this, becomes that, yada, yada, yada. And all those wonderful things. So you have to flow into things that fit. And also he says, do not be a robot. This is Bruce Lee saying, I mean, if you're going to use the man's quotes for your style that he created, keep that in mind. You're not robot. The whole point of Jeet Kune Do was to make sure that not everybody copied everybody else. Okay? Okay. Like concepts work so much better because everybody missed the damn point. You're not supposed to be low-grade Bruce Lee. You're supposed to be the best you. I don't have the frame of Bruce Lee, and neither do you. So it wouldn't make sense for either one of us to fight like he does. Even if you're the same height, same weight, you're going to move differently. You're going to have different strengths. You're going to have different weaknesses. That was the whole point of Jeet Kune Do. Using what is effective and dropping what doesn't fucking work. Okay? And not just copying what worked for one person. Because you're not the same person. Shotokan worked perfectly well for its fire, founder. Judo works great for uh, Kana. Kempo Karate is fucking great for Ed Parker. You're not Ed Parker. Trying to fight exactly like Ed Parker is only going to get you so far. And that was the whole point of Jeet Kune Do. Having it to where it's concepts and where it's ideas. We have a few moves in it, but you use whatever else that works for you. Yes, you need grappling range. You need punching range, you need kicking range, and whatnot. And weapons should be something you should learn, and there are basic concepts. But even the Tao Ji Kune Do says concepts. It doesn't say, here's my rigorous set of movements, these are the only things that work, ignore everything else, blah, blah, blah. It's not what it says. So telling me I haven't made a point, uh, okay, whatever. No, wait, seriously. <sighs> You don't drive a motorcycle like you drive a ram truck or like an 18-wheeler because it's not the same fucking thing. It's essentially a vehicle. It essentially has the same pieces, but it's not the same fucking thing. And that is the thing for every human being. You have to figure out what works for you. If you're a really big, strong guy, you're not going to have the same freaking fighting style as someone who weighs 120 pounds and can lift only like, I don't know, 30 pounds or some shit, I don't know, 50 or 100 or something pounds. Anyway, you're going to fight differently. Because if they're very fast and you're slow as fuck, moves that work for you are not going to work for them. So yes, it is good to keep the concepts of Jeet Kune Do. Keep the one-inch punch. Keep that forward side kick and all that other cool shit. But also, use maneuvers that work for you. Use judo styles that work for you. Kano, that's the minute. I don't know, I forgot. Anyway, I don't even do Jeet Kune Do, but this is my real. Uh, and my Jiu Jitsu is like Uga Pants. Cool. 
you don't have the same parts. You don't have the same building. I can't build a castle out of the parts that would make a shed. Maybe shed's not a good word. Like a duplex house or some shit. I'm not a duplex or something. Anyway, just a regular old, you know, the same parts that would be for a house. Each one is fine. Each one does its own job. But you need to treat them differently. And each person is their individual. So you need to know what really works in the real world. But you need to not copy exactly the way Bruce did things. Because you're not Bruce. I'm not Bruce. Nobody's Bruce but Bruce. So trying to fight like Bruce did is going to get you nowhere. Okay? You're going to be a low-grade Bruce, which wasn't what he wanted. He wanted you to be the best you. He wanted you to perfect you. Exercise like him, of course. Eat as well and healthy as he did, of course. Put into your training every goddamn thing you've got, like he did when you can, like he did. But just mixing Wing Chun, Jiu Jitsu, and whatever else, karate and whatnot, judo probably, I know people do anyway, I'm not getting into it. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the double leg takedowns in his movies or anything, but people are saying it, whatever. Anyway, five moves that work for you. Find maneuvers that fit your truth. That in a fight work for you. I mean, look at what Bruce did. Test it. Does this work for me? Yes, use it. Does it not? Discard it. Because that was his truth. Not your truth. Okay. And that's the whole point of what Jeet Kune Do was supposed to be. He didn't want it to turn into another goddamn karate, jujitsu, all the other arts that he was having problems with because they had been watered down and that's why they got destroyed in UFC. The first few times. Because again, he had already noticed this happening. And yes, I know, he didn't go into full contact things that were out there at the plus, but he didn't know about them. Anyway. He, he knew about the tournaments that were available to him in Hong Kong and here. So yeah, that's not even a good argument. But anyway, that's what we're talking about.